Ah, welcome back, guys, gals. I am filming this late at night after thrashing on the 340. Let me just show you. So we have finally got her. Of course, you won't see much has changed as far as appearance because we got the time and chain cover swapped out. We got all the cool guy parts, and we're getting ready to set the intake down and get all the final preparations done. Basically, every issue that we were going to encounter with this engine fixed. Thanks to good friends at Holly for supplying or helping us out with a deal on the converter. And a good shout out to my good friend David for helping me machine not only the intake, but also the converter to make it fit the engine. And a huge shout out to Greg at Superformance for, of course, he had the W2 oval gaskets that we needed for the intake. And, uh, well, we're still waiting on the comedic ones, and I'm glad we didn't wait on the comedic ones to dig into this, because, well, we're still waiting. But also a shout out to our friends at Jegs who always help us out whenever we need parts. And I'm not just, you know, thanking all the big companies who do help us because, well, I am thanking them, to be quite honest. They have made this very possible. And, of course, with the audience, you guys out there for watching these, thank you a million. And the only reason why you're watching this video instead of the hyperlapse of reassembling this and making it run, well, the reason why you're not watching that video right now is because I have bigger plans for that video to end and well tomorrow is upload day if I'm gonna upload a video for y'all it's gonna be out tomorrow so this is what you're getting instead and look forward that the following week this thing that will be that video this thing getting buttoned up freshened I mean everything going together and then getting it running and then after that I plan on getting that thing in the duster and making that thing run and drive and then right after that my plan is to literally start digging into Jezebel because I got the clutch disc from uh, Ram had uh, Rob get those from uh, well from Ram and sorry I'm a little scatterbrained because I just lost my temper because well trying to find parts that have gone missing for over a year oh so yeah I have big plans because I want to get the duster back together and also finish Jezebel. I changed gears completely. I'm not worried about the 264 Dodges I'm working on. However, I am still helping Anna work on Erlene. And there's a project right there on the bench revolving around Erlene. So that is something we're also working on. So if you guys are ever wondering, why does Jed have so many projects? Why can't he focus? Why can't he get nothing done? Well, it's because besides doing the car stuff, I'm doing like real life stuff like, you know, like, making a home still and making a living and all that other fun jazz all the cool side projects on the lathe you know making different parts and whatnot so there's lots of things going on and i would really like to have you know this thing rumbling for you right now and have that be the video but it's just not going to happen right now also want to shout out to advanced racing engines at salina who helped get everything ready to rock and roll on that 340. I also want to let you guys know that, oh, well, first off, we're not running that flex plate. We do have some fancy flex plates. We got from Jags the uh, SFI, really nice heavy-duty fellers. These things are awesome. Very nice. If you want one, if there's anything left in stock, it is, that's part number right there. But the idea with Jezebel is we're going to go ahead and take the 18 spline out of her completely. I'm just letting you guys know in the future. We're going to pull that 18 completely off. And the idea is to take this 1970 23 spline, which came with this 400 that I plan on putting in the 64 red Polara. That transmission is going in Jezebel. And the Polara will be getting its original 64 four-speed. So that'll be made into the 400. And so that's the reason why I got clutch disc for a 23 spline to fix Jezebel. And then, of course, eventually we'll get back to working on the red Polara. And then, of course, of course, the red Polara. Sorry, it is really dark out here. And then, of course, that mystery 64 white one back there. That's all you get to see. It's kind of cool. It's dark out. So you can't actually see the secret project that's going on in the background. So, yeah. <sighs> But I do want to thank you guys for checking her out. Let me get you back into the shop. 
I do want to thank you guys for checking this out. And also, don't be discouraged because you're getting a short, talky video from me because this is a good opportunity for you guys to go out this weekend and either work on your hot rods with your loved ones or go check out all my other cool YouTube buddies from the Muscle Car Misfits group that hang out at No Name Nationals like William from Charger 33 Mopar. He'll be having a brand new video out, I believe, either today or tomorrow, which would be Saturday. I can't remember which day he was going to have that video, but I know, like my buddy Ryan Barsness, I know my buddy Brian at Dust Devil, he's working on a really awesome video in the background for his knuckle duster. I don't want to give anything away, but it's probably way cooler. It is way cooler than that, actually, in my opinion. The stuff he's doing... And it's one of those things where I'm lucky because I get to be a part of that group. We get to talk about all of our plans and deals and all that stuff. So, you guys ain't watching those channels. You really need to because they got some cool stuff coming up. Of course, Chris at Engine Light Garage, another one of our buddies. It's William's brother-in-law. He has some questionable naming for his project car, but it's still going to be freaking sweet, I imagine. Especially when he gets done. I've seen the stuff he does. Oh, and don't forget... I am sporting my Dust Devil Garage t-shirt I got from Tony's Hot Rod Garage, which is Gunslinger Graphics, who do our merch and, well, just about any other cool freaking YouTuber I can mention. So, oh, I think I've covered all the bases, guys. I'm sorry this isn't a super long video, and I'm sorry, you know, it's not the 340 slamming together and making it run video, but that will be soon. That will be very soon. So, as always, guys, I want to thank you for checking out the video. I look forward to seeing you next week when this thing is actually done and ready to rock and roll. And then we can start working on getting it planted in that duster. So as always, guys, thank you. I look forward to seeing you then. As always, take care and bye-bye.